Okay, normally I don't speak English when I make videos anymore, but in this case I will. Um, what I've made, as people s have seen in my video about my giveaway, that I've made a script that goes in to my uh, with the YouTube, ap YouTube APIs, clicks all comments, uh, filters out any double comments, and checks for sub who is subscribed to me. And a few people asked me if they could get the script, and at that time it was a whole mess of just lines. So I went and made a class out of it. I call it YouTube Helper. It's helping you with YouTube tasks, so YouTube Helper is an obvious thing to call it. Uh, it's under the GPL, it's for use, whatever, just use it if you want to. Although I would really, really like if you gave me credit if you used it, I could use the growth it will give me. And, um, yeah. Uh, the class has a few public variables. It's there, it, there's a comic, the comments uh, variable, where all the comments are stored, and you can tr pull them out or put in your own comments in it. Uh, there's a, a variable called YouTube ID. That's the ID of the video you're currently getting comments from. So you're actually able to use this class to get uh, comments from multiple videos. So, if for example you have two videos and you want to get all the comments from both videos, you can just set the ID no, ID for the first video, uh, um, run the the load comments method, and then simply put in the new YouTube I the next YouTube ID and pull the um, get YouTube comments again, the uh, load comments function one more time. So you're able to do it as much as you want, and you're able to modify it as you want. Uh, the YouTube user is your mm, is meant to be your own username. You can use that. That's the YouTube user. It will check against when you check for subscriptions. And the MySQL enabled is a simple variable that tells if you have MySQL support enabled right now. The reason for this is. Checking for subscriptions is very slow because of the way YouTube works. Um, the YouTube API only provides 50, uh, 50 results at a time, and some users might have like thousand subscriptions. So finding you in all the subscriptions, sub subscriptions, if you're even there, might be really really slow. So if you have MySQL enabled and you have a simple table call, called subs with um, the field, a field called um, user then it will post all the, com all the users that are subscribed to you right now when run it into that table and never check them again unless you of course delete them from the subscription table it's a nice way of speeding things up and who gives if they, if they unsubscribe you can also always just delete them if you want to check everyone. The first function is XML to PHP array. That's a function you probably want to use. I didn't buy this function. It, this function is, is from the PHP.net, the manual side. Uh, one of the users posted I couldn't find it anymore, so I have no idea who, the, who it was from. <laughs> I'm sorry. The next function is a very, very handy function. I use it a lot. It was something I made while I was trying to make it easier for me to find parts of strings. So I might make this function called find part. It simply takes three arguments. The first one is where to find from, where where it should end, and what what string it should search in. And then it returns the the string between from and to first occurrence of them. It's a really, really handy function. Then we have a function num comments. It simply returns a count of the current comments. Simple. We have the load comments uh, function. And it takes a, a parameter that sh uh, should return array. And that's the default. That's false. If you have it uh, set to true, it will return the array of comments. 
and it's simply first ask if uh, the U2 ID is set. If it's not set, then we will turn false. Well, we can't collect comments or something that's not there. And um, well, it simply checks if there's more to get. It started index one, and while the index uh, haven't gone over the maximum. Uh, amount of comments, it will simply continue on and add co the comments from the YouTube feed. We have removed doubles, simply checks the whole comments array, array and deletes all double authors. So it will only uh, only have one comment per author. It's really handy for giveaways. We have a check subscriber function. It will simply check if a user is subscribed to the current user. and we have check all subs it will simply go in and check all subscriptions for all the commenters on your video so that's a very good idea to have them check to have them use to move doubles first <laughs> because you will really have a long trip running that if you have not removed their doubles and what can you use all this for then will this is an example for a giveaway script using YouTube Helper. First we are including YouTube Helper. Then we are initializing the class initializing initializing the class as the YH. We'll s we set the ID number. This is the ID number for my giveaway video. Uh, we set the YouTube name. In my case it's Robin Kaya. We load the comments and you see I haven't set it to true so I'm not getting anything in return, it's just returning void. Yeah, and void, it's not really like PTP returns void. <laughs> um, then we're checking for all subs and these parameters are optional. If you set it to true, true and this, then it will, if in console mode, put a um, uh, print out the string in here and add the number of it so you can have a little uh, nice interactive counter of where you are, where you're at. Um, after that's done I'm pulling out all the comments and I'm actually missing something. That's embarrassing. Remove doubles. I just told about it and I didn't think I would remove doubles. And it also has a parameter. If it's true, it will return the number of doubles found. And well, then we pull out all the comments, we select a random winner, and that's simple. We just take a random number between 0 and the number of comments minus 1. And yeah, we print out the winner's offer. I hope the class is helpful to you. You could find the, you can find the class at uh, Google dot uh, code at Google dot com slash p slash YouTube helper, and it's there free for download. So please feel free to post any issues you will have with this class, and please be free to post suggestions and to improvements on my bit on the class. I would be very glad if posted it. And also I would be really really glad if you gave me credit if you used the class. Thanks for watching and I hope the class is helpful to you.